So, what is a pattern? A pattern is an image that is continuously repeated. A pattern can be used to quickly fill a layer or selected area in Photoshop. This is useful for quick floor plans or elevations. Let's start by discussing where to source patterns. Pinterest is an image sharing website that allows designers to discover information and images in the form of pinboards. Here you will find thousands of patterns available for download. Google Image Results allows you to quickly find different patterns and possibly other websites that have a pattern database. You can quickly and easily download an image. Architectures.org is a material library created for architects and designers. It was developed by architect Ryan Canning. What is great about this platform is that the patterns are seamless and can easily be used by all skill levels. Let's start by downloading a pattern image of your choice. Here I am on the Architectures website. The material that I am downloading is a Douglas fir texture that we will later use to quickly fill the floor of a plan. Architectures also provides you with the information about the pattern you are about to download. Let's jump into Photoshop to define the pattern. To create a pattern with the whole image, go to the Select drop-down menu and click on All. Then, go to the Edit drop-down menu and click on Define Pattern. You will then see a pop-up screen that will prompt you to enter the name of the pattern you are creating. Give your pattern a name and then hit OK. You have now created a pattern. To select the image by using the Ctrl D shortcut. Now let's go over how to create a pattern from only a portion of an image. First, use the rectangular marquee tool to select the area that will be transformed into a pattern. Let's repeat the same steps as before. Go to the Edit drop-down menu and click on Define Pattern. Enter a name for the pattern being created on the pop-up screen and click OK. To select the image with the Ctrl D shortcut. So let's see how to apply the pattern you just created to a different file. Here, I am using the floor plan of a house. Use the magic wand tool to select the area where the pattern will be applied. Then create a new layer and add a color fill with the paint bucket tool. To select your selection and then double click the layer with the fill to open the layer style panel. Select Pattern Overlay from the list of options on the left and in the Pattern panel find the pattern you just created. You will see that this is automatically applied to your color fill. Let's start off by scaling your pattern to fit your image. You can use this little tool to adjust the size as needed. The other options available in this menu allow you to quickly change the blending mode and opacity of the pattern. Click OK when you are done making your selections. You can create and maintain your Photoshop pattern library by going to the Edit drop-down menu and selecting Presets and then clicking on Preset Manager. A pop-up menu will appear under the preset type Select Patterns. Here, you will be able to add or delete patterns. Building a pattern library will improve your workflow and allow you to work faster and efficiently. So this is how you create a pattern in Photoshop. Let me know if you have any questions below and I'll be happy to answer them.